Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna do Beta Day 7, which catches me up. Hopefully, I won't um, get behind again. I just got really busy with the first day of school. I'm not used to getting up early, um, having to get up and take the kids or take the kids to the bus and all that. I'm just not used to that. So um, I'm trying to stay up all day and then go get them from the bus and uh, yeah. So and hauling out their rooms and all that stuff. So first, I'm gonna do Julian. Um, because I, I can put them back in their buckets. Julian has this one of the poop clip, which was my middle daughter's, even though it could be um, either sex, but for not for it's in Julian's bucket. This clip is one of the poo as well. This could be either sex. Um, this is um, my oldest daughter's clip from when she was a baby. This Elmo is also um, could be either either or, and is my middle daughter's. Um, well, my young, my youngest daughter is um, clip from when she was a baby. He also has this Winnie the Pooh clip and this Tigger. And these are his pacifiers. He has this Dr. Brown's, and let's see if I can find the other one that goes with it. And he has this Dr. Brown's. So those are. He has this Born Free. And he also has, hold on a second, this Born Free with the paw print. These are Simba, and he also has a Simba clip. So he has, these are Born Free. He has this Nook, and this Nook, they came together. He has this boys rule one I don't have another one with it because we found it at camp and we cut the nipple off of it he has one of the Tommy Tippies um, the other one the girls have he has a snake that is um, a Gerber or a Nook he has a football a basketball a baseball. He also has a soccer ball somewhere, but I don't know where it is. He has this one. He also has the second one to this, but it's under the crib. I don't use it. I don't use it because it, the nipple's already cut off, but he could use it with putty or a magnet. He has this camouflage one. He also has the green camouflage one. It's under the crib. Once again, I don't have any magnets right now, so... And if he doesn't use it very very often. He also has these two clear ones. He has this ma'am and then he has this doc or this Tommy Tippy and he has this parents choice. And he also has a blue parents choice that's like that. He has this nook which is an older nook. This was my son's when he was a baby. Okay, that's all Julian's. Now we go to um I'm not sure. Oh, um, let's see. Ariella and Peyton. And no, Peyton and Bentley have the same magnet. So that's that's who's is in here. This is a dream something or other. This is from Poland. This is a Tommy Tippy. This is a Tommy Tippy. This Tommy Tippy. This Nook. This Nook. This um, ma'am. This nook, this nook, this um, first year's Hello Kitty nook, the pink one. The other one is magnetized for the other two with for Emery and Ariella. Um, this one again, there's two of these because I have this. 
there are the so there's two of them that are the same size of, size of the magnet and of the big girls. Then I have they have all the girls clips are in this bucket. So there's this clip. There's this clip which is um from Poland. And it's called Baby Dream. That's the company that that purple one was. There's Mickey Mouse, a Minnie Mouse clip, which is Born Free. There's a Pooh Bear clip, Piglet clip, and that is oh, and uh, Wild Free Worms clip. Then I have this is also a Baby Dream pacifier. This still has the nipple attached. This is my oldest daughter's. These were first. This is a first year's pacifier. This is my oldest daughter's pacifier. This is also her pacifier. These are both um, first years. This is like the baby stage, and this is the bigger stage. She would not take anything but this kind of pacifier. So we add tons of them. Um, however, I don't have tons of them now. This is another baby dream pacifier from Poland. This is another Tommy Tippy with the nipple on it. This is uh, all latex pacifier. And I'm not sure what brand it is, but it's from Poland. Might be a Tommy Tippy because it has the same kind of nipple thing, like the little ridges on it. I don't know. Um, this is my son's hospital pacifier. So. It's a Susie or whatever. Um, I'm. It, I won't cut the nipples off because they're like they're actual <clears throat> from when they were babies, but they're good for props. These are first year's pacifiers. They actually have the colored nipples on them. These were my middle daughter's, who is seven, going to be eight, and um, yeah, I won't cut the nipples off these because I haven't seen them like these in a long time. And here is another. Baby dream pacifier. And now, wow, I'm already at seven minutes. Holy cow, I got a lot of pacifiers. Okay, so now quickly, I'm going to go through the rest of them. <coughs> Sorry about that. These are Ariella and Emery's pacifiers. Here's a um, giraffe. Here is a baby dream, which is another Poland pacifier. Here's a ma'am. Here's a Tommy Tippy. Here's a pat pacifier that was one of my children's, and I don't know which one, but it's a circle one. Here's another draft. Julian has a draft one too somewhere. This is another Baby Dream from Poland. Here's a Winnie the Pooh. Here is a um, the purple camouflage one have another zebra, a Minnie Mouse, Parents Choice yellow one with the pink, this um, Nook Dots one, this Nook Dots one, the other Hello Kitty one, the red one, Purple Parents Choice, Orange Parents Choice, Pink Parents Choice, and another Tommy Tippy. And we also have another pink one that has pink right there too. Um, the, those are the ones that fit my Ariella kit the most. So she has, I have as many colors as I can find of those because they fit her face the best. Even though those are like the cheapest pacifier you can get because you can get them really cheap, but they fit her face the best. So those are what I put on. If I put a pacifier on her, I don't put a pacifier on her all the time. But if I put a pacifier on her, that's what I put on her. Cause she, I don't know why her face is just different. Even nooks don't really fit her face very well. Yeah, I have them all stuck on a bucket, so that the magnets like stick to the outside. I do put a couple of them inside the bucket that don't really fit. But, yeah. 
try to stick them all to the outside of the bucket because then the magnets don't get messed up or they don't come off or whatever. Alright, so that was beta day 7. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for tomorrow, but I guess i got a day to figure it out. Alright, bye.